The farming of clams, oysters, and mussels was first established by Northwest tribes thousands of years ago. Commercial farming was established just about 150 years ago, mainly by small family businesses that date back generations. Shellfish and estuaries provide a multitude of resources and processes known as its ecosystem services, like food, water filtration, and nutrient recycling. Shellfish growers recognize the need to be stewards of the environment to maintain clean growing waters and ensure their own future viability. Shellfish aquaculture is sustainable farming at its best. Even though these benefits of shellfish aquaculture are documented and well known, it is less familiar how aquaculture gear can benefit the environment by providing habitat or protection for other organisms. This diver is looking at shellfish aquaculture gear underwater to see if it might provide habitat for other species found in the Puget Sound. Let's see what they find. Growers use a variety of techniques to grow and raise bivalve shellfish depending on the location and type of species. Oysters are cultured or grown by three main methods in the South Puget Sound. Growers can place them directly on the ground, which is why this method is called ground or bottom culture. They can also be placed in plastic mesh bags on the ground, which is called bag on bottom culture, or they can be cultured off the ground using a bag on rack or tumbling method, using the bag shown here. Ground culture has been shown to provide a special place for various creatures to inhabit. This community of hermit crabs, shrimp, and snails is enhanced thanks to the oysters acting as a habitat. Ground culture can also provide juvenile Dungeness crabs with important shelter during the first year of their life. When baby Dungeness crabs live in areas with more shells, they have a better chance of making it to adulthood. Shellfish aquaculture gear, like these bags and racks, can also provide habitat to crabs, snails, and other animals. The structure of shellfish aquaculture gear can increase the surface area of a flat bottom seafloor 50-fold by providing new vertical space. This new space is the foundation of a rich biological community. Oyster shells and aquaculture gear may be an important source of hard substrate for organisms that need to attach to hard surfaces to live, like these barnacles or these wild mussels. These animals that utilize shellfish aquaculture gear for space can be important prey for many fishes and waterfowl that are important to us, like salmon and ducks. Large numbers of wild mussels settle and grow on aquaculture structures, which in turn provides an important source of prey for sea ducks, like this wintering surf scoter. Manila clams are cultured most commonly by tossing small seeds or baby clams on a bed of tide land. As they grow, they will burrow into the ground. The use of clam nets is a passive way to prevent massive predation events by birds and other large animals. Clams share this protection of the nets with other animals who live in the ground. Gooey duck clam, while native to this area, is a relatively new species for cultivation and techniques are rapidly evolving. The most common way to grow gooey duck is by pushing pieces of PVC pipe into the ground, leaving a few inches exposed. When planted, young gooey duck clams are only 10 millimeters in length and need to be protected from predators. The top of each pipe is covered with a plastic mesh net and secured with a rubber band to exclude large predators from eating the vulnerable baby gooey duck. The three-dimensional structuring of the tubes provides habitat and protection for other creatures too. Studies show that gooey duck aquaculture gear can increase the local biodiversity of mobile benthic fauna, which means this type of habitat can support a variety of organisms that live and move around on the ground. These smaller organisms may have a profound impact on the food chain as they are food sources for fish, crabs, and sea stars. The gooey duck tubes also provide infrastructure for all sorts of organisms to live on in an otherwise barren seafloor while protecting the gooey duck. After two or three years, the young clams have buried themselves to a depth adequate to evade predators. 
The tubes are then removed and saved to reuse for the next planting, while the gooey duck remain relatively in the same place for the next few years. Shellfish aquaculture gear tends to increase local biodiversity, which means where there is more structure, there is a variety of organisms. In this underwater video footage, we have seen how ground culture provides some organisms refuge like a reef. We also saw how organisms like to crawl around on and attach to bags and racks. Lastly, we saw how gooey duct tubes provide three-dimensional structuring that provide habitat for animals that live on and around the seafloor. This gear continues to be studied so that shellfish aquaculture can understand and care for the environment that they depend on. Oh, the oyster passes time serving nature's grand design Without a second thought about his fate he consumes the briny blue, purifies it through and through Until he's plump enough to grace a dinner plate Oh, the oyster, he's the workman of the sea Turning estuary plankton into food for you and me There's nothing more oyster than an oyster from the shell When your hunger he dispels or a malady he quells In low and high and shifting tide the oyster is our friend Until he meets his culinary end